G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is, obviously, the Chinese Assault Rifle. So, players of Fallout 3 would probably remember this bad boy right here. It's just basically a Kalashnikov design type weapon, and it was the sort of the best sort of ballistic rifle of the automatic variety there was back in Fallout 3. Getting into the attachments here, and this is where it sort of gets a little bit uh, different to what we usually see. So, first of all, you've got two 308 receivers, one being semi auto, and one being full auto. And you've got a bunch of all these receivers here, and a 5mm conversion, which is kind of nice there, and that'll give you a little bit more rate of fire. What I've noticed here, the rate of fire of these things isn't too great, but to get the best damage, I'd probably go for the uh, 308 auto receiver there, even though we're getting a pretty abysmal rate of fire there. Next up for the barrel, if you want to change this to, uh, if you want to keep this like it is back in Fallout 3, then changing the barrel would probably not be advised, but if you want to keep it that way, that's fine. You've got a stub barrel there, or a snub barrel I should say, and that'll improve the fire rate, interestingly enough, and reduce the weight, obviously, and inferior recoil, so it'll be a little bit hard to, to control. Next, this will give you a little bit more damage, less fire rate, more range, all that nonsense too. And of course, if you want to make this look more like an AS4, you've got an integrally suppressed barrel, which is actually kind of cool, but I'm not going to check that on just yet. I kind of like the standard barrel how it is, so we're going to leave that on. Next up, for the stocks here, we've got no stock, folding stock, so that's the one from Fallout 3. We've got a solid stock there, which is kind of cool, and a marksman stock there, so if you want to make this even look more like a sort of VSS type weapon, that and the integrally uh, suppressed barrel would probably do you well. But that's got a better recoil and better aim with scope, so we'll chuck that on. Next up for the magazine, nothing much to explain here. Just uh, there's a whole different size range of magazines and you want to put that uh, largest one on for the best ammo capacity. Next up for the sights here, we've got the standard sights which have this uh, front pin and the rear post back there and you can take that off if you feel like it but if you want to have a little bit of zoom to your scopes then you can go ahead and do that. The culminator sights, they are basically the curb the Cobra RDSs that you'd find in Battlefield 4 and 3, probably in real life too, who knows. Uh, and you've also got the reflex sights from uh, the combat rifle and such too. We'll go for the magnified one. I found that this one, while it is nice, it's uh, the housing of the sight, it's just too far away from it. I prefer the magnified one, just a little bit more than that. Next up for the muzzles, we're obviously going to put the suppressor on it, and that looks like uh, that old PBS suppressor back in Battlefield 4, so very well designed on that part. And of course, you get a legendary effect if you feel like chucking it on, if it isn't quite doing the weapon damage for you, but we'll leave that empty for now, and we'll go into Gunner's Plaza using this. Righto, so here's this weapon in third person, here we are in Gunner's Plaza, and it looks pretty nice, wouldn't you say? And there's it in third person, and for comparison's sake, I'll just go ahead and cut to a Fallout 3 a little bit right now, and you can sort of compare and contrast the weapons if you feel like it. So, cutting now. Righto, back in Fallout 3 and good old Megaton, here is the Chinese assault rifle right here, so I think it just uh, aim down sights, and you get a general look at the weapon, it's not a bad looking weapon for what it is, uh, back in Fallout 3 times back in, what, 2008, and uh, I guess your question is, uh, you're wondering is, how does it perform? Also, Lucas Sims has one. Well, let's go ahead and find out. Yeah, it goes alright. Got a few mods going on, but that's generally what you'd have the uh, performance of this weapon be with uh, pretty low gun skills. But there you have it, that was the Chinese assault rifle back in Fallout 3, back to 4. Wasn't that all very fascinating? Anyway, let's get into actually killing some of these gunners with this weapon to evaluate its performance because so far it has definitely passed on the looks and feel, and we'll go ahead and see if it passes on the performance. So, Despite the rate of fire and the recoil being very, very unpredictable, this thing feels like it packs heaps of power. Right off the bat though, the sounds are a little bit disappointing, although there is a sound pack um, if you feel like changing the uh, sounds of this weapon, which is nice. I believe this is using basic combat rifle uh, sounds at this time. Oh, you've got a big weapon there. Let's not have you use that anytime soon. Anyway, so right off the bat, yeah, this thing is going to perform well. But as you can tell, its rate of fire does let it down a little bit. And if you wanted a little bit better rate of fire, it is advisable to go ahead and uh, take um, the uh, 5mm receiver and attach that and the shorter barrel too. That'll help you out with extra um, 
I need a rate of fire, which would be good, and that'll make it better for a few legendary effects like explosive and wounding, and also furious, of course. Yeah, so for the stealthiness of this weapon, it is actually performing very well. We're keeping nice and hidden, despite shooting all of the gunners very, very uh, quickly. And even the ones at the start, which usually detect me, I was able to get away from them, which is nice. Anyway, we've got all the gunners converging on our position now, so we'll use this time to quickly just try to take out as many as possible. And yep, another legendary gunner. Oh, who's that? It's Captain Bridget. Looks like she's here to take me out for good. Uh, Matilda has done a number of the gunners for years and looks like they're pulling out the assassins to try to take me out. So there we go for a mid-video boss here in Gunners Plaza. Although she's quite on the tough side, so we better look out for her. So we'll try to take her out now. Oh god. And it looks like Matilda has fallen here. Yeah. Whatever will she do about that? Not hearing from her friend for a few days, Winter becomes concerned about the well-being of Matilda. So she comes here to Gunners Plaza herself to find out what happened to her. She's got to search for clues and will kill every gunner that stands in her way. So, we've got this thing fitted with the uh, 5mm receiver here. And we've got a short barrel on it, which obviously gives us a big rate of fire bonus. So now it's firing a little bit fast, how you'd expect an automatic weapon or how you'd want an automatic weapon to fire at this type of speed, although its recoil is a little bit jumpy and now that we are detected by our enemies, you can see that this thing really doesn't do a lot of damage. I mean, it'd be doing a lot more damage if I was actually hitting my targets that I was shooting at, but nonetheless, you can see that this thing isn't too great in the damage department. One thing you can do is just to concentrate fire on the head area and that'll give you a little bit more damage, but the effects of that is rather minimal. So we killed that gunner there with great difficulty. We'll quickly get a reload here, and we'll shoot this gunner in the head as much as we possibly can. Which does make uh, it's a difficult task to do that if your uh, gunner is going to go ahead and get staggered around like they do when they usually get attacked like that. So obviously this is a little bit more underperforming, but the ammo is cheap, so you'll be running around with this for a long time coming. Fortunately, we brought it back up. So this one right here has a long barrel and of course a scope. So, and I've also it's got a 308 receiver of the semi-auto variety. So we'll be get benefiting from the uh, sniper perk from that. So not only does this do a heap more damage now, it's actually kind of viable. The only drawback to this is, as you can tell, I have got a horrible amount of tunnel vision in the scope and it is going to be very painful to use this if they're too close because I won't be able to scope in because it's just a little there. Fortunately, the hip fire on this thing isn't too bad. And as we come to the center of Gunners Plaza here, I think it is a good time as any to search for any clues we can. So hopefully we'll stay nice and hidden with all of our nice and shattered armor and such like that. So we should probably just peek around the corner and take out the gunners one at a time. And that is, and making that uh, the target acquisition is very, very hard when you've got tunnel vision like this. Um, I would have actually preferred this to be a scope that you'd have to sort of fade into like all of the vanilla scopes, but looks like we've cleared this in a bit right now. Let's see what we can find in terms of clues. Oh, it looks like I've been ambushed here. Don't worry, we'll quickly return fire and down he goes. Okay, what have we got here? Assassination contract. Captain Bridget, as instructed, you are to eliminate Matilda by any means necessary. Too long have our operations been disrupted by this individual, and we need her dead. As discussed, your payment of 20000 will be dispensed upon bringing evidence of her death. Failure is not an option. Okay, looks like uh, Captain Bridget's been out here, and looks like she's going to kill her. Um, generally, gunners like to do their execution parades in Quincy because they're s sadistic bastards like that, so hopefully that's where we'll find... Uh, Let's hopefully that's where we'll find her. Uh, we must act quickly because uh, hopefully, yeah, we, we got to get there quickly because the execution ceremony uh, is probably happening very, very soon indeed. So switching to that tier. And as you can tell here, we're getting perfect accuracy at this range. So very, very good on that part. So Vats will be a cinch with this weapon. Um, did I kill that person? Yes, I did. Wasn't sure. I thought I just knocked them down, but nope, they aren't getting back up. They are definitely dead. And speaking of not getting up, you are definitely not either. So taking out this last turret, I believe that is it for Gunners Plaza.
So there you have it. That was the Chinese uh, assault rifle there, and it is performing very, very well indeed if you fit it with the right parts. No mods to make this even better. You don't need to even add. Ed you don't even add, need to add legendary mods to make this thing better, so there you go. Anyway, we'll go ahead and search for our friend uh, now. But before we do that, we must once again stop uh, thwart uh, Swan's plan to take over the Commonwealth, and we shall do so by gratuitous sneak attack criticals and sniper knockdowns. So I think he's brought a few friends with him this time, which is a little bit unfortunate, so hopefully we won't get detected by these. Um, if any mutant doggos run up, they'll probably detect us pretty quickly, so we'll try to take out as many as we can. Uh, we've got a uh, super mutant warlord killed there, and uh, we'll keep Swan at bay just by knocking him down for a little bit there. Um, it really looks like there's one more left, so we don't have any mutant doggos to worry about, which is nice. Swan's gone to mutation station, and he's now close enough that we'll be able to get away with just on hip firing while we backpedal away from him. And he should be dead by the time we slam in this next mag. Goodbye, Mr. Swan. And what have we got over here? I bet it's just a basic super mutant warlord. Or well, it's a legendary one, so good on you for being legendary. If you could just stop moving for a second so I could acquire the target. And knock you down, that would be nice. And you can die, you tanky bastard. Anyway, that's enough wasting time of killing Swan. Let's go ahead and actually rescue our friend from the clutches of Captain Bridget. Okay, so here we are at Quincy. Let's see if we can find our lost friend. So we'll quickly get in here and try to kill this turret, and then we'll try to do this as quickly and as sneakily as possible. Something has riled up these gunners, so maybe press in a sense of Minuteman along. Ah, looks like this one's cloaked, so that one took me off guard. But luckily for us, we can just go ahead and hip fire him until he dies, which is nice. Next up, this gunner can go down. Uh, uh, uh. Can't get a pacifier on him, unfortunately, so we'll just have to work around his stupid cloaking business. I think I knocked him down there and again, so there we go. Did I see another one there? Yep, another caravan guard. That's probably what's got them riled up. Anyway, we'll quickly get rid of these gunners and see if we can find anything in this prisoner trailer here. Hmm, doesn't look like there's any blood around, so she may be still alive. Excellent. Alright, there's another gunner down there. We'll go ahead and target him in bats and do a little bit of criticals there. Let's see how we do. Not that great. That's probably a Brigadier Gunner um, legendary. Um, you don't see their ranks when they're legendary, so you just gotta sometimes you gotta assume what rank they are depending on how much damage you do. So there we go. I think he's just knocked out that car, so that'll blow up in a second. Oh, that was the one that was going to blow up in a second. Alright, looks like we've found some resistance here, and we may be getting close because they're getting more concentrated as we're coming up here, so we may be heading in the right direction. Anyway, what have we got around here? I know there's going to be um, that Assault Tron around here, and... Do you have a head? Oh my god, your head is cloaked, but the rest of your body isn't. That's bizarre. Hmm, okay, no lead so far. Haven't seen any uh, blood things on the ground, so hopefully there's been no fighting happening. We'll enter through here, I reckon, and sort of uh, flank them around here. This is usually a quiet place or quieter. In fact, we've caught the robot off guard, which is excellent. We'll quickly get rid of this gunner. And what have we got around here? More gunners below us. Hopefully we can get a good vantage point from up here to kill them. Have we got a shot? Not quite, although I believe I'm heading in the right direction, so I'll just keep heading in here. We'll head across this platforms here, and here we are, up on this little gunner's ledge here. Got a frag mine there that'll probably trip my uh, vats up if I keep going with that. Okay, what have we got around here? Who was that? I'm pretty sure I saw something on the uh, on the old uh, subtitles there. We might have found our friend once more. So what have we got around here, huh? Oh no, it's an interrogation to find us all. Stop that. Leave her alone. Alright, looks like we've rescued her. How you doing? Um, still got a bit uh, locked up at the minute. Uh, we'll quickly... Hey, <laughs> we're both shooting into the thing. Ah, here's the commander. Looks like he's the one that had the payout on him. Does he have all these caps on him? Nope, looks like uh, Bridget has skipped town, luckily for her. 
Anyway, so how you doing? I don't think she's in the position to move right now after being chopped up by a ripper for so long. But we've got a few gunners down there which we'll just snipe away at. There we go, very very good use of sneak attack criticals to quickly kill them. And what else have we got aggroed around here that, that I could pick up from this good vantage point up here? Nothing too much there. I think we might just hop down here. Whoops, I forgot that I didn't have my uh, acrobat legs on. So, unfortunately, you took a little bit of damage. But it looks like we've got another captain here that we'll take out. Knocked him down with a bit of a knockdown effect. And we'll move on to this bloke down here. Now, these guys have been pretty much spread out everywhere. So, hmm, I wonder what's happening the gunners are very disorganized, perhaps they got a little bit too arrogant when they caught her, but too bad for them, looks like their time is almost up. This caravan guard's had her hands full with this gunner brigadier for this whole time, so we'll just run straight up and shoot him in the face until he dies, and I think that is a good way to finally uh, kill that gunner. What have we got around here? Small captains, easily done to kill you. And what have we got here? Just another captain in here. Too easy. Oh, he's around here somewhere. There you are. Didn't know why I didn't pick you up before. Maybe you sort of ran away as I was coming up. There we go. Almost dead for this gunner here. We'll just hip fire him until he dies. There we go. So that's uh, Quincy cleared once again. Let's go and meet up with our friend and see if she needs any medical attention. But before we do that, looks like this gunner hasn't noticed the entire slaughter that happened around Quincy, so hopefully we can go ahead and interrogate him. Don't do anything stupid. Alright, now. Don't look, children, this is going to be brutal. Tell me where they are. Tell me where she is. How could you possibly have done this? You're a bad gunner. He's not going to talk. We have to kill him. He knows too much. Okay, so after that failed interrogation, let's go and tend to our friend. Are you okay? What happened to you? Are you going to be fine? Here, let me get this shock collar off you. Now, what did they do with those six shades you were wearing earlier? Oh, they put them in here? Well, let's go ahead and chuck those back on ya. There we go, looking much better now, aren't we, with those shades back. So, there's all the white look. It's, I call this one the snow camo. Anyway, so that was it for the Chinese Assault Rifle, please don't point that at me. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty damn good weapon, the animations are sold, the textures and meshes are definitely that, and it performs very well too if you got it set up with the right parts. So if you'd like to see this weapon in your game, be sure to check out the description below, there shall be a link there. I believe this one is on PC and Xbox One only though, so sorry PS4 users. But if you guys are into the companion mods over on the PS4, there's a companion mod for Matilda there, and there's also a companion mod for Winter here. That's actually the newest one, so if you feel like having a goth follower, then you can go ahead and do that. So, <laughs> so what'd you think of the story today, huh? You didn't expect a story to be coming out of a uh, weapons video, and yeah, you drink that. So yeah. I don't know, I'm just feeling a little bit extra creative today after making that sort of uh, mini boss in Gunners Plaza there for Matilda to fight and uh, eventually lose to there for just a little bit of flavor because I guess it does get a little bit repetitive me doing weapons uh, without uh, really changing from that. So I just threw it through that little bit of a storyline, if you can even call it that in there, just to shake things up a bit. So if you'd like to see this weather, if you enjoy seeing that in your game or in this video and you'd like to see it in your game, links will also be down there too and look at that view. Do you enjoy that view too? It looks actually kind of bad because my view distance is on very low, but there you have it. That was a Chinese assault rifle. Thank you for watching guys.